Hello and welcome to the announcement show for the Natural Landscapes Challenge in the 2023 Pangolin Photo Challenge. Last year we had over 10,000 entries across all of the challenges, so it's taking us a while to get through them. So we will be releasing the announcements of the winners uh, each week going forward, so make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out. This was quite a challenging challenge, Natural Landscapes, but it did produce some extraordinary images. So I'm going to share with you the winner, but I'm also going to share with you a few images that I think really need to be seen, and we would regard them as being highly commended. So without further ado, let's Let's get started. So before I announce the highly commended and winning image of this round, let's remind ourselves of what that individual is going to win. They will get a four night stay at the Pangolin Chobi Hotel in Northern Botswana. This fabulous hotel will take great care of you and during your stay, you'll go out into the Chobi National Park on our game viewers and photo boats, along with the Pangolin photo host that you know so well from this channel. If you've decided that you wanted to come to Botswana for a little bit longer, then we will happily exchange this prize package for a voucher for 2,500 US dollars that you can put towards any safari on our website. That's quite a prize. Now, before I announce the winner of this challenge, I want to let you know that the Pangolin Photo Challenge 2024 is now open. If you took part last year, then you are already eligible to take part. So please go ahead, log in and start putting your entries into the challenge. If you haven't taken part so far, then all you have to do is become a Pangolin Guardian. Now, to become a Pangolin Guardian is very simple. All you need to do is a 15-minute online course which will teach you all about pangolins. And as soon as you've finished, you will be eligible to enter the Pangolin Photo Challenge and all the challenges in the future. So please follow the link in the description down below, become a Pangolin Guardian, and then you will be able to enter this year's challenge. So the first highly commended image is from Ross Bartholomew called Polar Outpost, great name. Um, the polar bears are doing very well in this year's Pangolin Photo Challenge. They really are up there in lots of the highly commended images. Just shows that they are such uh, emotive subjects. Um, and especially in a landscape like this, I love the composition. I love the fact that the polar bear is off to the left, sort of glancing towards the photographer, but maybe looking down the slope maybe trying to figure out how to get around this this crevasse. Um, it's a beautiful image. Um, he did very well to make it more landscape than more detailed. Um, so Ross, congratulations. That's a highly commended image. Next up, Paul Dunphy under a Kenyan sky. I love this crop and I really hope you're going to print this. I love the moody, rainy skies, the separation of the Ireland. Even the, the colour of the grass where the elands are standing and then the shadow before and after, giving them this ray of sunlight coming through which illuminates them. Um, I think it's a fabulous, fabulous photograph and I think you'll all agree this would do really well as a very large print on a wall somewhere. So congratulations, Paul. Highly commended. Next, we have another photograph from Africa, and it's Mark Moll's Leaping Leopard in the Landscape. It's almost a tongue twister. Um, what a moment, what a great moment. I love the fact that you have captured this leopard just jumping up perfectly framed in the branches of the tree. I like the symmetry of the three trees with the one to the left and the right of the main tree. Um, I think, yeah, the temptation must have been to zoom right in. Maybe you were using uh, a smaller telephoto or fixed lens at the time, but to have the discipline to, to, to zoom out and take the wider shot has really paid dividends. So well done, Mark. That's a very, very cool shot. Thank you very much for sharing. Highly commended. Next up, Andy Luck, cold and lonely. Um, yeah, anything to do with ice and landscapes and individual, it really is very emotive. Um, this is a little uh, a daily penguin, I believe, making his way up a glacier, I'm assuming. I'm not entirely sure how he thinks he's going to go further on from where he is at the moment, whether he's returning to, or she, or he's returning to a nesting site perhaps, having just been out to feed. Anyway, it's a very stark contrast between this tiny, tiny bird and this big, um, imposing landscape. So, um, Andy, very nice shot. Thank you very much. Highly commended. 
Then we have That One Night with a Bull Moose from A.B. Gerber. Um, apparently this is a very famous moose in Grand Teton, according to the description. I've never been to Grand Teton. In fact, Guts and Janine have just been there scouting it out. So there's a, a video incoming of this destination, um, but it looks absolutely spectacular. And what an amazing beast, great composition. Not entirely sure if you were in a boat maybe, or had you waded into the water, I assume. But the fact that the moose is a magnificent beast and overshadowed by these even more impressive mountains and the leading line of the river or the stream leading to that. I think it's an absolute fabulous shot, Amy. So congratulations, highly commended. And the winning shot from Helena Conradi, a bird's eye tapestry of Serengeti's natural wonders. Again, I think this would make the most incredible large print. What I find really interesting is from this, anyone who's been to the, the Great Migration, either in the Serengeti or the Maasai Mara, will know that it's not a wildebeest migration, it's very much a wildebeest and zebra migration. So I love the contrast between the two species, all moving in in the same direction as the migration is wont to do. And the more you look at it, the more you pick up patterns, the more you pick up little groups, little herds within the larger herd being led by, I assume, the more experienced animals as they head along. But you can't take your eyes off it. I think this is what this was taken from a hot air balloon. And if you ever go to the Serengeti and the Maasai Mara, I strongly recommend doing a hot air balloon. It is an incredible experience. Very early start in the morning, but an incredible experience. And you can get shots like this if you happen to be over the migration. So Helena, it's it's a really beautiful shot and yeah, I can't take my eyes off it. Again, I hope you print it, and we really look forward to seeing you in the Chobi when you come to collect your prize. So thank you very much for watching the show. If you'd like to enter the Pangolin Photo Challenge, you can click on the button over here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on the far end. And if you'd like to watch a video featuring all of the finalists from this particular round, then I will disappear and you can click on the video here. Thank you for watching, bye-bye.